Now, with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Finally, you said we're finally going to see some sun that's going to stick around for more than just 10 minutes, it seems like. We <laughs> see that sun for a little bit, and it goes right behind those clouds. That's true. We've gotten some very beneficial rainfall. Right. So we'll take it, the cooler temperatures, some more clouds as we go through the rest of the week. Not saying the clouds are going away, because they're not. We're going to see a few more of those. It will be turning more dry for us with more sun on the way. Below normal temperatures are going to stick around for us as we go through the rest of the week. Here's that downtown San Angelo time lapse. Look at the showers passing by as we go into the evening hours. Those start to fade away as we lose the daytime heating. Those showers start to come down for us and things start to quiet down as we head towards that 10 o'clock hour this evening. Right now out at Mathisville, we're sitting at a temperature of 76 degrees. Feels like 76 with a dew point of 71. We've got winds out of the east northeast at 7 miles an hour. Rainfall picked up a little over a tenth of an inch out at Mathisville today. So some good rainfall down there at the airport. Poolcast for tomorrow if you're planning on spending some time by the pool because the sun is coming back out. Temperatures tomorrow morning around 9 o'clock in the morning are going to be in the 70s. Then we'll get closer to 80 by lunchtime. And then we'll get into those mid to upper 80s as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Your UV index is going to be very high. And there's a slight chance that you can see an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon tomorrow afternoon. Not so this evening. Not too much going on. A couple of showers back towards Mason and then into Coleman County. Other than that, things are pretty quiet across our area and across the Lone Star State. This is what we've been dealing with. Low pressure centered down here around Brownsville, bringing a lot of cloud cover and shower activity down there, even firing up showers and thunderstorms across our area. A few showers and thunderstorms moving into the Texas Panhandle and portions of New Mexico. Other than that, things are pretty quiet and that's the way it's going to remain for us overnight tonight as showers and thunderstorms calm down and things start to clear out as we go into Wednesday morning. We could see some areas of patchy fog, even some cloud cover as we go through the day on Wednesday, but then as we go into the afternoon, all that starts to clear out for us for our Wednesday afternoon. Here's what our Thursday is looking like as we roll into later in the week. Temperatures getting into the low 90s, plenty of sunshine for us, and it's going to remain dry for us as we go into the weekend. Even Sunday may be a little bit on the dry side, but we'll start to introduce a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms as we go Sunday into Monday of next week with temperatures generally in the upper 80s and low 90s for daytime highs for the beginning of next week. Here it is, Hurricane Elsa now at 75 mile an hour winds, pressure at 997 millibars, a category one hurricane 65 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida. So not far off from the Tampa, Florida area. It's moving north at 14 miles an hour. No impacts here in the Lone Star State. This is all going to be an East Coast system as hurricane warnings have been posted for the western portions of the Florida Peninsula there. So they're expecting at least hurricane force winds as this thing makes landfall tonight into tomorrow morning and then moves the rest of the way up the East Coast. So they're going to see impacts on the East Coast, not here in Texas. Tonight, we're going to drop down to around 68 degrees under partly cloudy conditions. There could be some areas of patchy fog as you get up tomorrow morning. East winds at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. For our Wednesday, we'll top out near 90 with mostly sunny conditions across our area. East winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Again, can't rule out that slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm across the region. But then things are really looking dry as we go through the next five days. Temperatures are going to get up into those low 90s for daytime highs, which is a little below normal for us for this time of the year. And then as we head towards the beginning of next week, we'll reintroduce that slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms beginning next week. We'll have more KSAN News at 10 right after this.